Police in the US have confirmed that Soundgarden's lead singer Chris Cornell took his own life. The front man was one of the leaders of the grunge rock scene, but he's also famous for his collaboration on film soundtracks. Chris Cornell's death is all the more shocking given he was on stage in Detroit hours before. It's great to be back here. The famous frontman was in the middle of a month-long tour with recently reformed band Soundgarden. Fans say he was upbeat during the gig but may have given an ominous clue, replacing the lyrics in his last song with words from a Led Zeppelin song about dying. Hours later, Cornell took his own life, his body discovered by a family friend. His death has stunned his wife and family and brought tributes from around the world. One of the best people I've ever met, sweet guy, didn't realise he had the best voice in the world. Elton John tweeted, a great singer, songwriter and the loveliest man. And from Led Zeppelin's Jimmy Page, incredibly talented, incredibly young and incredibly missed. Cornell's love of music began in childhood. He formed Soundgarden before he was 20. The band won several Grammy Awards, one for the iconic hit Black Hole Sun. Black Hole Sun, won't you come? Along with Nirvana and Pearl Jam, Soundgarden was part of a wave of bands to emerge from Seattle's grunge movement in the 90s. He also had success with other bands, most recently Audio Slave, with the musicians from Rage Against the Machine. And he collaborated on film soundtracks, including the James Bond film Casino Royale. For all his success, Cornell spoke openly of his struggle with drugs from his teenage years and gave up alcohol 10 years ago. I've never done this really completely sober, completely just focused on music without um, mind-altering stuff going on. His wife Vicky says Cornell showed no sign of suicidal thoughts before he died. Ann Barker, ABC News.